Michigan is 51st, and normally I wouldn't make a big deal about that, but the concerning portion of that is that the season is going to start in less than two months. And once the season kicks in and Michigan starts winning, most likely nine to ten games, uh, that's going to help. However, the players that Michigan has pursued, it's lost. It's lost to most notably Notre Dame. A lot of recruiting battles between Notre Dame and Michigan and others in the mix, but Notre Dame and Michigan. And Michigan has not been winning these recruiting battles with Marcus Freeman and his staff. And so it's not so much for me, the number 51 ranking in recruiting. It's about the players that Michigan has pursued and offered that they continue to miss on. Keep this in mind that Michigan's top player committed in 2023 is Cole Cabana. According to 247 Sports Composite, he is the number 233 player in the class, in the entire class, Cole Cabana. Ohio State has received commitments from 13 players, 13 players that have a better recruiting ranking than Michigan's top player. Michigan is going to be signing somewhere between, you would think, 20 and 23 players. They currently have eight hard commits. I gave them too much credit with a 51st ranked recruiting class. They're at 53. So Cole Cabana, a uh, really good player out of Michigan, 13th rated player at his position, third rated player in the state of Michigan, Cole Cabana. He's the top player. He's the only top 300 player. Now, Samaj Bridgman, we posted a profile video on him this week. He's the linebacker out of Philadelphia. He's just outside the top 300, so basically you can state he's a top 300 player. He just committed on July 1st. And, and there's some really good players in this class, but of course the quarterback situation around C.J. Carr, a legacy, and Dante Moore, not looking like those guys are going to pull through and sign at Michigan. And then on top of that, much is going to happen here, obviously, with eight card art, eight hard commits, and uh, they're going to be in the low 20s. So they're probably going to get another 14 to 15 commitments that eventually sign. But I don't see a whole lot changing with this recruiting class. They have two four stars out of the eight. So we're going to find out a whole lot more when we talk to Justin Rowe. On Thursday, 